Breaking news. AAC to kick off presidential campaign in Kano promises total liberation of Nigeria from bad leadership. AAC to kick off presidential campaign in Kano promises to Promising total liberation of Nigeria from bad leadership. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. May God bless you all. A political campaign for the 2023 presidential elections officially states on start on Wednesday, September 28, according to the timetable of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The African Action Congress, AAC, has said that its mission is to liberate Nigeria from many challenges facing its people. The party, in a statement by its presidential campaign spokesperson, said its structure and programs are inspired by the struggles and aspirations of Nigeria. According to the party, its campaigns, will, which would be launched in Kano, Kano State's capital, will aggressively engage Nigerians who are already tired of the failed leadership of crooked politicians in the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, and others. In his fully outlined, outlined promise for Nigerians, if its presidential candidate, Omoyela Shawari, becomes the pres president in 2023, AAC said, as campaigns for the 2023 elections officially commence, the African Action Congress, AAC, wishes to inform the Nigerian people that we are now engaged in a struggle for the total liberation of our country. As the only Maras-based party in the country today, with structures and programs inspired by the struggles and aspirations of our people, we boldly assured them that we are absolutely committed to partnering with them to build a nation worthy of their sacrifices. To this end, our party and our presidential candidates, Omoyele Oshoware, have carefully drawn up transformative programs intended to decisively pull the country from the brink and administer it for the security and prosperity of our people. First, we intended to tackle the looming economic collapse by launching the most ambiguous national infrastructure development program since independence. This will immediately put millions of our people back to work earning a decent wage while building the foundations of our new economy. We will cleanse the rot in the power sector and light up Nigeria, providing constant electricity which stimulates other productive forces within the economy while also unleashing the creative potential of our people. The directive effect will be unprecedented economic growth poverty redu reduction, and a measurable rise in living standard. We will leverage technology to drive the economy and spread growth in all sectors. We will immediately improve access to funding for small businesses and also take immediate steps to strengthen local manufacturing so that we can produce most of what we use. We will drive a technological revolution in agriculture to enhance output, attain food sufficiency, and improve the farm to factory model so that we can retain more value by exporting finished products. Instead of raw materials, we will eradicate hunger from our land. We will tap into the, the talents of our youth by setting up tech hubs of over the country so as to unleash their entrepreneurial initiatives and drive growth through the expected rise in the numbers of tech startups. We will stop oil thieves, clear up the polluted environment of oil communities in the Niger Delta, and commit proceeds 
from oil and other natural resources to develop our sectors of the economy and ensure that the Nigerian people become the biggest beneficiaries of their own resources. To be clear, we will not surrender the commanding height of our economy to private fat cats. We will ensure that the Nigerian people return control of their economy and run it for their sole benefit. On security, we will protect our territory and flush out all threats to the Nigerian people, both domestic and foreign. We will not negotiate with terrorists who kill our people and bleach our communities. No price of Nigerian territory will be occupied by terrorists or other criminals. The Nigerian people will again sleep in peace, trusting that their government will protect them. They will worship in their churches, their mosques, and traditional places of worship without the fear of being slaughtered by cowardly people who shall restore dignity, uh, dignity and, and respect for the lives of our people, and we shall fully discharge our duty to protect them. I beg your pardon. To achieve this, we will revenge our nation's security architecture and strengthen our military through better training, equipment, and welfare so as to motivate his rank and fight. There will be no room for compromised or incompetent officers in the Nigerian army. All those profiting from insecurity will be shown the door. On education, we make the most aggressive investment in the sector since magamation. We will invest in the modern teaching, learning, and research infrastructure required to launch our nation into the future. This investment shall cover preschool through tertiary education. It will prepare our citizens for the challenges of the new age. Wow. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section.